This is Bob. Bob is not feeling very well today. This is because Bob has a severe infection caused by bacteria. These tiny, brainless creatures have been able to take down this big, intelligent man. But how? Let's take a closer look at these bacteria. One bacteria cell alone is not enough to make you sick. There need to be many of them before they can successfully attack your body. Before they decide to attack, bacteria need to know if there are enough of them in the neighborhood so that they don't waste their energy on weapon production. Remarkably, they can communicate with each other. To communicate, they use signaling molecules which they produce and detect in the environment. As the number of bacteria cells increases, the number of these molecules also increases. More and more and more. And there comes a point when the concentration of signaling molecules is high enough to inform all the bacteria that their army is big enough to start the war. This is when they make a collective decision to produce their weapons known as virulence factors and start to attack the body. Because they need to reach a critical number, the communication mechanism is called quorum sensing. A similar mechanism may also be observed in human societies. Take them as an example. He is strong. She is alone. But when she communicates with her friends to join her, they can collectively attack him and win the fight. Unfortunately for poor Bob, he has been killed by the bacteria. But let's look on the bright side. We have seen complex communication and collective decision-making skills that happen even in primitive unicellular organisms like bacteria. This is truly fascinating.